Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So this is the chapter one uh, video map walkthrough. Hopefully you find this useful. And uh, like most of my other video maps, it's heavily edited to remove all the um, ba battle encounters. So there are some new uh, mobs here to kill and you can kill, you know, one, 20, and a hundred of each to get some chronostone rewards. And I'm just going to lead you through um, the map and try to show you where the treasure chests are. So this will be very similar to the Muse uh, Other Tales quest if you've done that before. So there will be six chapters and in each chapter you'll be able to explore either different parts of the map or all of the same. So this is the first area that you start from and that um, exclamation mark is where you begin for chapter one. So we're going to go this way first and fully explore each area. And just like the Muse one, you can find these um, Maiden's Bones. And so um, in the previous one, you were finding those uninspiring axes, which are either lying around or will be as rewards in the another dungeon um, very hard. Now the another dungeon actually unlocks after you finish chapter one. So I'll have a video of that up very shortly after this as well. Now you can see we fully explored this area. Let's see what we get here. Uh, just some crafting materials. What you're really looking for is those guiding light or luring shadows. Okay, so we're going to just continue here and move to the next area. So what I usually do just to save time is I actually complete one area at a time and then move and explore the entire second character. And there's um, another uh, Maiden's Bone there. So uh, yeah, each section of the map I try to do um, one at a time. That way I don't backtrack because in the other tales, you can actually lose track of where you visited. And in each chapter, you are looking for a special key which unlocks actually a side area within the map and those usually have the really good stuff like um you know again luring shadow uh, guiding light sometimes uh even chant scripts now these um little sleeping dogs are the ones you offer these bones to and they will give you something in exchange for it and when you've offered enough um then it won't accept anymore so again very similar to the Miu's other tales uh, with the um, wells that you can drop in. Okay, so we're going to head on down. And you can see that if I had straight left, you can actually finish chapter one. But we're going to actually explore everything first because I haven't found that hidden map yet. Another chest for us with a common rusty gear. Those actually drop from the mobs. Um, just in case um, you're wondering how difficult this is, um, all the mobs I've encountered were just level 37. Now here's the hidden area. So if you see those two eyes kind of lying there, just press it a couple times to disturb its sleep and beat it down. And now a new area has kind of um, opened up. And again, there will be one area of each um, in each chapter. So you can see that little um, yellow uh, vase, I guess. It now turned into a shiny chip, which will unlock um, that kind of hidden map area uh, somewhere later on in the um, chapter in this map. Okay, so you can see another dog where you can exchange those uh, um, you know, maiden's bones. So unfortunately, we're going to backtrack because in the main um, area, there were actually two other paths we did not finish. Okay, so this is the main area that you start from. Remember that exclamation mark? We're going to head straight left first. Okay, so there's another little maiden bone here. There will actually be a total of four uh, maiden's bones within chapter one. And there's another chest. Oh, great. Guiding light. And that's all for this little section. So now we're going to head straight down and finish off uh, whatever map we have not explored. 
as each chapter evolves, further chapters actually have a little bit more to explore. So this is actually going to be the most simple map to explore. And just like uh, Muse, if you'd miss something right now, I believe you can get them back later on. But I'm never one to kind of leave it um, to chance. I kind of fully explore each chapter. So keep that in mind as well. And there was another Maiden's Bone. Okay, just uh, making sure we're thorough and not missing anything here. All right, another chest. Not bad. High class girl is always useful. Okay, let's backtrack here and see what else we have uh, missed. Okay, so one last area. We're going to go straight up after we finish exploring these, um, this little path here. So you can see it's fully explored and this is very, uh, this is basically it. So if you have gotten that shiny blob, uh, which I showed you near the um, boss battle, it'll unlock this area. Now there's nothing here on the right, unfortunately, but if you go to the left, there will be one chest to collect. And one of those Melodist Psalms. So you will need 30 of them um, to upgrade seal to a five star. And again, you'll get them from farming um, these chapters, which will give you a, you know, a fair number of them. And then you'll also have to get some from the another dungeon. And I'm imagining it will be the same or very similar drop rates to um, Miu, which I believe was 4% um, as a reward line at each of the, um, you know, at the end. Okay, so this boss is pretty straightforward. Uh, weak to Slash um, absorbs water. And uh, anyways, I'm not really too worried at this point. Also resists Earth. So again, um, the only thing it looks like it, it actually uh, does uh, uh, status where it kind of locks one of your special moves. So not too much of a problem here, but during the another dungeon, you'll have to make sure you're uh, well equipped to kind of deal with that. So again, I'm just going to use some non-elemental attacks to deal with them. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.